The Queen looks chic in turquoise as she makes her way to a church service in Scotland during the first Sunday of her summer break. The Queen looked relaxed as she headed to church on the first Sunday of her summer break. The monarch, 93, is in Balmoral, Scotland, and braved the chilly breeze in order to attend a church service in nearby Craddy Kirk this Sunday. Wearing a turquoise blue coat over a colorful dress, the Queen looked chic as she matched the outfit with a hat of the same color, with a brown feather adorning it. She covered from the cold with a pair of black gloves and kept her legs warm with a blanket as she sat in the back of a car as she was driven to church. The Queen's blue coat was adorned with pretty buttons and she wore her signature pearl necklace and earrings. The monarch and her aide both looked relaxed, sitting at the back of their car on the way to the morning service. The Queen has retired to Balmoral for the summer as she does each year. The Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, 37 is set to celebrate her birthday at the Scottish Castle this summer. The Queen invited Meghan to visit with baby Archie Harrison, which is thought to be a great honour. It is believed that the Queen aim is to have a quiet chat with her granddaughter-in-law during her visit. Speaking to The Sun, royal expert Phil Dampier said, this might be a good opportunity to have, not an assessment of her, but a quiet chat away from the madding crowds as to how she thinks it is going. I think in quiet moments and quiet walks up by the river the Queen might have a few words of advice for her. Between Meghan and Archie's visit and an infestation of bats, Balmoral Castle will definitely see its fair share of entertainment this summer. It was reported early this month that the dwelling was infested with bats. While the Queen would actively participate in the pest's capture and release, she now watches her staff do it in order to entertain herself. While that the monarch has also had a busy week and welcomed the new Prime Minister to Buckingham Palace on Wednesday afternoon, shortly after accepting Theresa May's resignation.